Hello and welcome back to another Coco Loco Devlog, a cozy casual cafe game. I've been working on this for the past two and a half years now and recently transitioned from Unity to Unreal. The past few weeks have been really good in basically trying to catch up the work that I had done in Unity and putting that all back into Unreal. And it's been really impressive because I would say I'm about 75% there now over the span of about three months. I've been able to condense out two years worth of prototyping and work into the, the core systems of the current project I have. So we left off in the last video with NPCs being able to go to tables and placing items in a prototyping square. A lot of behind the scenes work has been done here with um, gameplay tags and basically making sure systems are in place for everything to be communicating clearly. So when NPCs spawn, they find the closest table, they then untag the table that they're going to go to so no other NPCs when they spawn can find that table, as well as doing the same exact thing with chairs as well. Once they go to the table, then they pick a chair to sit at. And I worked on the system of NPCs deciding what they want. Uh, then finding the placement uh, actor that would be near them when they're sitting at the table and setting that tag to, hey, I'm waiting for this specific item which I've ordered. So now multiple NPCs can sit at separate tables, order what they want, and there isn't any mix up. I also made some adjustments to the data tables uh, for the items, things like pricing and images, because in this data table it stores all the information we have for each item an NPC can order. Information that's really important, uh, like the UI image that we have when it's in the speech bubble for what the NPC has ordered, uh, the price in which it gets sold for, so how much the player is going to receive, as well as things like the prep time, how long is it going to take the kitchen to make it, and uh, a bunch of other little things which I can also add to as well in the future if there are, you know, certain characteristics I might want NPCs uh, to simulate with certain items, you know, stuff like that, it's very expandable. And so when an NPC is ready to order, a bubble appears above their head, and at first it's an exclamation mark, but once a player interacts with it, then it reveals the order. And now the receipt appears at the top of the screen. This uh, is where I found some really difficult differences with Unreal. Their UI system is uh, different. I'll, I'll say different because I'm still trying to get my head around it. It's, you know, one of those things like C++ where I, I'm kind of putting it off until I really need to sink my teeth into because I know I'm going to get lost into learning the new processes in, in that regard. And since now the NPCs were at the table, I had to get them to leave the table. So using the behavior tree, I had to work through uh, different... Comp I had to figure out how to make it so that when a table had been given its order, telling the NPC, hey, you can leave now without, well, also future-proofing it because I want multiple NPCs to be at a table at once, making sure they don't leave until the table is given them permission to leave. And so I was figuring things out like, okay, do I just send a message to the NPC once its order's been taken, or do I wait until all the orders have been taken, and then the table checks, hey, have we had all the orders? Is everyone finished ordering and we're all good to go? All right, send the message out to everyone, everyone's ready to leave. And most of it was just like looking at this now is just blueprint stuff, backend stuff, um, working with the interactions, uh, with interfaces, uh, adding things with, you know, game events and whatever. Basically going through each step a level will have from spawning NPC to deleting the NPC. Each process they go through, making sure that that all works correctly and that we can actually read it and see it in blueprints because the thing with blueprints is it's basically literal spaghetti. So you can turn this very easily into spaghetti code. And I may have had some issues with um, gameplay tags and tag containers and things that only C++ can do and figuring out, okay, how can I make it so only blueprints can do it? And so if you want tutorials on, on gameplay tags without using C++, hit me up in the comments. I might make a tutorial. I could not find one that would tell me what I wanted it to tell me, which is how do I add, change, remove tags and check tags to make sure that everything is all, all good to go because, you know, gameplay tags haven't been as easily implemented as regular tags in Unreal, but I don't want to use regular tags because they're strings and I'm bad at spelling, so I will make a mistake. And that's basically been it. I've been hard at work, tirelessly trying to figure this all out, making it as clean as I possibly can. So like I said before, I'm probably 70% there in terms of getting the core mechanics I had uh, in the Unity project, now in the Unreal project. The last things I have here on the whiteboard are the NPC partners, so making NPCs spawn with someone that they're going to 
go onto a table with and making sure all the logic with that works because boy that was hard enough in uh, in unity i'm hoping it's going to be a little bit easier in unreal maybe we'll see find out tune in next devlog and basically everything else is for the ui widget for the gameplay so we've got a timer here timers were kind of working now they're kind of not uh, because what I want it to do, like we saw in the older project, is I want it to start a certain period in a 12 hour uh, time frame. So maybe like 7, 8, 9 o'clock and then go over till PM. And right now I just have a timer and I have to convert this C sharp into blueprints. And I just haven't gotten around to it because, yeah, it's next on the list. That's why. That's why I haven't got around to it yet. And aside from that, it's just adjusting the receipt UI tweeting so it comes in a little bit smoother how I want it to be. That's just being pedantic really. I think it's fine how it is now. And removing the receipt when an order is received. So obviously once NPC receives an item that they want, we need to track where that receipt was spawned and destroying it. And that's basically it for the devlog. Uh, if you're new to the video in the channel, then please do follow along for the next video. And if you have any questions, please don't be afraid to ask. And as well, uh, if you want to see me continue making videos like this and you're excited for Coco Loco, consider supporting me here on YouTube with memberships. Uh, it goes to helping these videos as well as helping with the production of Coco Loco. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next video.